Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about ways to maintain your equipment in your home recording studio. Three really simple, inexpensive products that I think you should have at all times in any recording studio, really. Um, and the first one's really easy. Paintbrush. Look at this. Nice dry paintbrush. This one's kind of old, but I know that it's clean. Um, you know, this is great for cleaning amplifiers or you know, keyboards or the keyboard to your computer or, you know, anywhere where there's dust and lots of knobs, um, a paintbrush, you know, clean one, dry one uh, is the best way to go. So make sure you pick yourself up one of these. Second one that I will recommend is compressed air. This is dust off. I think I got this at Home Depot. I got the jumbo bottle, um, you know, <laughs> compressed air. Uh, again, you know, great for blowing out. You know, I have a wireless Macintosh keyboard and every now and then my caps lock key gets a little sticky or a little funky. And if I blow it out with this a couple times, it suddenly comes back to life instantly. Um, so compressed air is a great thing to have. And lastly would be this. This is contact cleaner. Uh, I bought this at Radio Shack. This is actually, it says electronics cleaner on it. But what it really is, is just, you know, a way to uh, clean contacts without actually having to scrub them. I usually will spray a little of this in there and then, you know, say it's like an XLR cable, uh, the female end of an XLR jack, like on my interface or something. I'll spray a little bit in there and then I'll put a cable in and then pull it out a couple of times just to, you know, sort of give it something to scrub it a little bit if you can. Um, but yeah, cleans away dust, dirt, and oxidation. So this is great stuff to have. So those are really simple things to have in your studio. And if you're finding that, you know, over time stuff gets dirty and you'll hear a lot more hiss, um, more buzz sometimes. And if switching out your cable doesn't do it, chances are that, you know, you have a dirty connection somewhere along your signal path. And one of those three solutions that I just showed you will definitely uh, or hopefully clean it out. So that's it. Real quick video. Um, I hope to see you guys again very soon. Uh, subscribe to my channel as always. I'm getting tons of subscribers lately and I've been loving that. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys soon.